this is the, as you can see by the sign, the historical marker. This is where we greet every guest uh, that comes to the ranch. I draw them over here and say, come on, gather around. In memory of man, 2 million BC, AD 2000 and what? He who once dominated the earth destroyed it with his waste, his poisons, and his own numbers. This is the start. This is the start of everything. The first time I saw a bad emergence, I was, I was caught right there. I mean, you see it for the first time, it blow you away. And so when this appreciation for bats hit me, I wanted something quite a bit more than a bat house. I wanted it big time. I know that they're not the most beautiful animal you ever see in one way, but they've, they've been given such a bad rap. They're always used around Halloween and they're blood suckers and on and on stuff. Actually, they're a pretty gentle creature. Uh, oh. These have been put away. We never thought we'd ever look at them again. Dream home for bats. How to build a cave, a bold experiment in artificial habitat. Here's one from Germany. I, I can't tell you what it says. They must have spent $10,000 to get this little picture, for Christ's sake. And then the copy said I was a pretty well-to-do divorced millionaire. And I began to get letters from attractive women. Once it was built, we were so anxious. I got a phone call from this reporter from the Express News in San Antonio. Bamberger, I'm doing a follow-up on that story I did on that bat cave of yours four years ago. How many bats you got? Well, it took four years before I got bats. And I was beginning to make, people were making a lot of fun of me. I said, well, I can't tell you how many they are, but I will tell you this, they cost me $5,000 a piece. And he said, you don't have any bats, and I'm gonna write a story. And the truth was, I didn't have any bats. Oh, a dozen, but that's nothing. You know? And I had a student here from Austin College. I said, instead of us going down to the lake fishing or swimming, let's go on up to the Chiroptorium one more time, see if there's anything coming out. We went up there, and we weren't there but a minute or two, and bats come pouring out of there like you wouldn't believe. I started crying, and I get a call from Zeke McCormick, that's his name. You must trap me, Bamberger, you must trap me. I'm gonna lose my job. Editor's telling me to get on the internet right now. Why'd you do this to me? I said, I didn't do it to you, Zeke, you just jumped the gun. <laughs> he didn't lose his job because he's still there. But I thought, boy, that's sweet revenge. <laughs> and after that publicity, Man, we were inundated, inundated. After all, who, who had something like that? The sensation you get when you walk in there, it's, it's dark. The first part of this chiroptorium that you go into is 40 foot wide and 20 foot high. But as you go through uh, the second uh, tunnel, more or less, it goes into the next room. It's half that size, and it begins to get darker. But the third tunnel is total pitch dark. No light ever whatsoever. The movement of the bats is they're going around constantly. Not all of them, but there's always some flying around, going around in a circle.
they collect, now listen to this, on the wall, babies at 500 per square foot. And about this big right here, you put these together. Can you imagine 500 mammals living on a, that piece of paper size? <laughs> their body weight in moth, each one does. Now you got 20 million bats, or 10 million, or 5 million, or 1 million. That's a hell of a lot of moth. They determine the value of bats to the agricultural community, not just in Texas, but all over. And it gets up into the hundreds of millions of dollars. You don't have chemicals, you're letting Mother Nature help you solve some of these problems. All of this stuff that I'm telling you about, it does one thing, and it was one of the things that I wanted to show. Can man-made habitat, can it mitigate the damage that man does all the time to Mother Nature by our shopping centers or our highways or our use of chemicals? I see it every day, and I'm proud as heck of it. And I always like, I always like to smile and think in terms of how many people said you. It's foolish, but you gotta have patience when you do stuff too.